Hi, and welcome to this short uh, tutorial on how to connect to Spotify API using only jQuery. So I created this web page that connects to Spotify API and retrieves uh, song information and can even embed uh, a player to play these songs on your web page. So I'm only going to use jQuery. I'm not going to use a backend server. Um, so everything happens on the front end. Okay, so if you want to use my code, uh, go ahead and go to the GitHub page for the code. Uh, I will post obviously a link to it in the description. Um, so here I am. So what you're going to do is once you get to the GitHub page for my code, go ahead and copy the HTTPS link. So I'm just going to do that. Then go ahead and um, I guess just uh, place it somewhere on your computer. I'm going to place it on my desktop. I'm going to do git clone followed by the URL followed by maybe uh, a folder name. Okay, so that's going to clone my code into your computer. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and CD into it. And here it is. The next step is to uh, delete the .git folder. So it's not associated with my uh, GitHub, but rather, or we will eventually associate with yours. So go ahead and remove the .git. You can't see it because it's a hidden file. So I'm just going to do remove dash F or dash R F uh, .git. And that should have removed this. So if you do a git status now, it's not a git repository. Okay, so the next step is to create your own uh, GitHub repository. So go ahead and create a new repository. Give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to call it uh, demo Spotify uh, API. Make sure it's public, very important. And don't select any of the bottom options so we can get the instructions on how to push up our code. So click on create repository. It'll give you a set of instructions. Go ahead and run those instructions. So I'm just in the directory, obviously, where you have the code. So do the first step is git init. Then I'm going to do a git add, git commit. And then do a uh, git change the branch name to main. And finally associate this this code with your repository and then push up to github okay uh, so this should be whole uh, this should be pushed up to github the next step is to if you refresh the page here there's the code my code on your github uh, account so this should be your name not my name then go to settings. Next step is to go to settings and to go to GitHub pages because we're going to host it online. So go ahead and select main here. Hit save. So GitHub pages, main, save. And scroll back down once you save it and take note of this URL. So you're going to need that here in a second, either copy paste it somewhere temporarily or just uh, be mindful of it that you're going to need that here in a second. OK, next step is to log into the developer .spotify, uh, dashboard. So I think if you just do a Google search for uh, developer Spotify login, there it is. Uh, I didn't have to log in because I was already logged in. I have two apps already. You're going to create a new app. Give it a name. Spotify demo version two description. I think you need to give it a description. All right, create the app. Okay, two things said to be aware of here. Uh, you're going to need the client ID here in a second. So be mindful of that. And uh, the second thing is you got to take some actions. Go to edit sec uh, settings, that is. Go to re redirect URIs and copy the URI that we got from GitHub. Make sure this part is important uh, to delete the period and the forward slash at the end. Okay, then hit add and finally save. 
Okay. Next step is to, um, let's see. Okay, so I think we're ready to go into our code that we downloaded to our computer, my code that you download to your computer. So go ahead and open up your code editor. I'm using Atom. You can use Visual Studio or what, whatever you use. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to, I put it on my desktop. I put it in right there, Spotify API. There it is. So here you're going to go into the script that you asked. This is where all the magic happens. So in here, I marked a place that says, uh, replace these values. So the first thing we're going to replace is the client ID. This is the Spotify client ID. So grab that client ID from Spotify. And the next step is I just pasted it. You might have not seen it, but this is the new one. And then right here, the next step is to replace this. Okay, but you can't just copy paste this part. So what you have to do is actually go back over here, grab the URL from GitHub pages and maybe search for URL decoder online. And I'm going to share a link to one, one of these, probably this one in the description. Go ahead and put that in, remove the forward slash and the period again. Okay. So again, remove these. And hit encode URL and voila. Grab what's on the right hand side and go ahead and paste it into the uh, for the value for redirect your eye right there. Okay. What is next? Next up is to push up your changes to your GitHub. So this uh, this code should now be associated with your GitHub, not mine. So git add, git commit. Uh, we change uh, redirect your I and uh, client ID. Okay, and git push origin main. Okay, I put I did it all in, on one line. Okay, so this should push it up to your repo. All right, cool. Next up is I think we're ready to actually test it. So go ahead and grab this URI right here and open up and uh, I believe I, I'm going to I'm going to open it up in incognito just because I've had some issues with caching and a bunch of other things. So I'm just going to open up in incognito and it should take you to the Spotify authorization page. So go ahead and enter your Spotify credentials, though your personal Spotify credentials, log in and then hit agree. Okay. And that's it. This is this is the my front end. It's very simple. Just has a search. And if I you have to hit this button, this search button right here. And there it is. And I believe Good old days. There it is. Uh Okay, so just a couple of things regarding uh issues that I ran into um on one of the in one of the windows chrome windows that i loaded this up in the non incognito one it wasn't playing i don't know why exactly i couldn't figure out why exactly so it only worked in incognito but it and it in incognito since you're not logged into spotify you need to it will not play the whole song so if you need to play the whole song you need to i believe like firefox was the only one regular firefox not incognito was the only one where when i loaded it I was able to play the whole song and everything worked just fine. So that just FYI, there's some issues there um, to be aware of. Also, there's some issues with caching. So if you make changes to your code, to the JavaScript or the HTML, uh, and then you push it up to GitHub, and then you refresh it and it doesn't get reflected, there's a caching issue. So, you know, one of the things I had to do was besides loading it incognito, I had to also uh, go to network and click uh, check mark disable cache. Um, okay, so with that said, um, let's just briefly go over the code itself so you guys know what's going on here. Again, uh, the CSS image folder and the index at HTML, that's really up to you how you want to do that. You know, that's just my version. You can just modify it as much as you like. The part that's important is the script.js. And inside the script.js, I'm just going to highlight the part that you probably going to need to connect to Spotify API. 
this is the first part right here, this help of function. Then you need all of this. This is the one that will actually authenticate you with Spotify. Uh, if you already authenticated, if you're not authenticated, if you don't have an access token yet, it will authenticate you. This is the line, line 33 here, that will actually redirect to Spotify and authenticate you. Then the next part that's important is this part right here, line 43. In this case, it's, it's possible that I changed the code, so the line numbers might not line up to when you download the code. But in this case, it's 43 to wherever this ends right here. That is the part that actually connects to Spotify. And this is the part right here that actually you decide what to do with the data that comes back. The data that comes back from Spotify, all the track information is within data.tracks.items. So all the songs information are there. I use whatever's in the text input, uh, whatever the value is in the text input uh, box, and I use that, the search query, to actually search uh, for songs. I'm using just this endpoint. Another important thing, there's other endpoints, another API endpoints that you can hit up, other things you can do. I use this simple Spotify endpoint that I guess just searches for tracks. Okay, and I believe that's it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, any concerns. If you run into any issues, uh, I would love to help. I'm a coding tutor. This is what I do. This is what I like to do, and I'm here to help. Uh, oh, one more last step. Uh, I, I'm, I started doing this relatively recently, and I would love to have you guys follow me and, and stay in touch for things like cool um some of the things that I do is uh, you know, help bootcamp students with things like connecting to like things like connecting to Spotify API, or you know, just create creating apps in general, I guess. So if you have any coding uh, interest, if you're a new coder and you're interested in uh, you know learning about new ways to do certain things, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Wow, I made that a lot longer than I would like it to be. Um, okay, so uh, I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.